I learned from Lyle when I was playing with him about the medicine game, about what it does for everyone. So just kind of playing out here, I'm not thinking about anything going on in life. I'm just focused on that moment and, and enjoying it. My name's Connor Fields and I'm an attacker for Chaos Lacrosse Club. So I'm from Buffalo, New York. Growing up, lacrosse wasn't, wasn't too big, but uh, lately it's definitely been growing a lot. A lot more kids are getting into the sport. There's a lot more club teams out here in the area. I think that just makes it so more kids could get in the sport. They get their friends playing, and I think it's just, it's just such a fun sport to be a part of. So I think when, I, when someone picks up a stick, they just want to get into it. I looked up to my brother. Whatever he did, I wanted to do, to be honest. So he played hockey, I want to play hockey. He played lacrosse, I want to play lacrosse. So uh, he was actually signing up for box lacrosse in Ontario uh, when I was six. Uh, they were like, why not sign up the little guy too? And I wanted to play so bad, so my parents were like, sign him up. So it's kind of how I got into it. But for college across player, definitely Mikey Powell. Grew up going to a, a bunch of Syracuse games and, and watching him play was, was something special. Just the stuff he could do with a stick and, and beating his man. It was very unique and uh, fun to watch. Getting to Albany, I was, I was more predominantly just a finisher. So going there and, and having the coaches work with me on my own time and on their own time, and then just playing with a lot of talented players, a lot of leadership, passed on a lot of knowledge, and playing with guys like, like Lyle. He's open with sharing everything he knows, and like you can see when he's on the field, he makes everyone better around him. So definitely looked up to him that way and try to keep my ears open and learn everything I could. My favorite memory was uh, probably making the Final Four to just prove everyone wrong, kind of getting there. It was definitely a really cool experience and just being there, I mean, it's an unbelievable weekend. A lot of people know if, if they've been there or played in it, but it was a really cool opportunity for us. My least favorite memory, a uh, pretty easy one, was uh, when I tore my uh, ACL. Having a great season at the time, we were number one in the nation, just beat the Maryland, who was number two, so we were on an all-time high, we were rolling. To be honest, my team didn't know about uh, my knee. It was just between me and my family and my coaching staff. Yeah, we just tried to stay focused on, on the goal that we set at the beginning of the year, our, all our goals, and I think we did a, did a good job doing that. So with the ECD brand, I know they're very hardworking and they make their products better every year and it's hard to do because they've been coming out with some great products, but I love their products. Been using their mesh for a little bit. The consistency is great with them. I also like the shape of all their heads. My mentality too is just keep working hard and keep trying different things and I think that's just, just both of our mentalities. I think we have a lot, of, a lot of great players on the team, a lot of great Dodgers and obviously a lot of great finishers. Um, some of the best in, in both leagues, the outdoor league and the indoor league. So I think just using my vision and, and kind of finding guys who are open that way, I know they'll do the same. So I just love the, uh, the idea of all the teams playing one city each weekend. I think that's very unique and, and something that they just have to plan for one weekend and, and can enjoy the best players playing on one stage. So I guess I'm just really excited and, and can't wait to see what's in store. I know, I know big things are coming.